At birth, these babies all weighed one kilogram or less, and in the past, four out of five of them would have died. But in a ward like this, four out of five of them survive. This program is about intensive care of newborn babies in a ward which takes both medical and surgical infants. We collect babies from anywhere up to 50 miles away, 105 of them in the last 15 months. A doctor and a nurse from the ward fetch them in an ambulance with a transport incubator. The vital points are that the sending hospital warns us in good time before the baby gets too short of oxygen or acidotic or cold. He needs to be intubated with an endotracheal tube and with an intravenous drip running. He is safe on the ventilator in the transport incubator while the Borns ventilator is being set up. The baby is wrapped in foil to keep in his warmth. He is six hours old and weighs 870 grams for the gestation of 26 weeks. He has the respiratory distress syndrome. At first, it looked as if he might manage to breathe on his own, but he can't. After weighing, he must be connected up to the ventilator. Now his endotracheal tube has been connected to the ventilator, which has been set for 20 breaths a minute with 60% oxygen at a pressure of 20 over naught. The monitors for oxygen and heart rate come to life as he is joined up to them. A syringe pump is being made ready to drive the intravenous drip. Now we can take stock of the baby's condition. It seems under control.